Jesus, we praise the worship your Lord. We honor thy name, we glorify the name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hello, my dear friends. Uh, greetings to you all in the mighty name of our dear Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is uh, Dr. Kumar from India. Um, greets you on behalf of Jesus for All Generations Ministries and on behalf of our family in India. So as a part of uh, today's Sunday message, I just wanted to reach out every country through the word of God, by the word of God. And especially always the United States is in my heart. Always. I don't know why God has placed this beautiful country. And um, secondly, uh, Australia, New Zealand, and uh, Europe, South Africa, they are in my uh, heart. And I have been praying for entire the world uh, because God has called us, chosen us for the nations. So particularly, um, I have never ignored any country in my prayer because all earth is and its fullness is of the Lord. So Jesus has said unto us, go ye into all the world, all the world, all the creation means all the world to praise the gospel, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to make the disciples, to make them the disciples, to cast out the demons, and to give them the baptisms. <laughs> so I love every country, even Pakistan, Uzbekistan, uh, Kazakhstan, or the Islamic countries, or uh, the African countries, or any islands. I have been praying for all these countries. Uh, so the word of God is for every country. Listen to this. Uh, but most effectively to the church in the United States of America. Hallelujah. Because God has given me a great burden. Previously, the in India was blessed by the American missionaries. So, in the same way, right now, the United States of America, the church in the United States of America, has to be blessed by the missionaries from India. <laughs> Hallelujah. So this was the prophetic word, actually. The revival uh, also starts from, again, start, uh, starts in the world from, always, always it, it is from God, the Holy Spirit. But um, uh, in our ancient days, in our world days, the revival, we have seen the revival that has come from the Western countries to the Asian countries. But right now, the revival again starts from Asian countries and, ex and will extend unto the rest of the Western countries that are, are to the different countries in this world. So I believe in this. Okay, let, let us go into the word of God right now, okay? Uh, Hebrews 11th chapter, verse 13. These all died in faith. Not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that, they, for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. 
And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, that is a heavenly, wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he had prepared for them a city, a country. Let me pray for this word of God. Hallelujah. Father God, help us, guide us, and um, to hear your word, to receive your word, and to be blessed by your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This all, who was they? Who were they? They were the warriors, legends of faith, of faith. They started their journey on the earth by putting faith in Christ Jesus or in God, in the living God. And they have ended their lives in the faith, in the same faith that one, that in, 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 which, in which faith they have started their journey. They, they all died in the same Faith. Like Apostle Paul speaks, I have fought a good fight and I have finished my course. Eventually, he concludes that I have kept my faith. I have kept my faith. So we all have to keep our faith until our last breath. So if you earn money, if you earn reputation, if you have properties, provisions, you will give them unto your children when you pass away from this earth. But can you give your faith to your children? That's my greatest question to you. Or for the next coming of generations. What you are going to leave for the next generations. Hallelujah. That's very important. Today, many, many people, many people across all over the world, they are dying in Corona. And in our city, there are lots of bishops, right reverends, pastors, ministers of God were passed there very recently. It will be a sort of week. So, uh, they died in Corona. Very unfortunate. Deeply condolences unto their family. Listen to this, a man of faith must die in his faith. It's a great history for him. It's always exciting and a great celebration when he comes to have faith in Christ Jesus. 
and he celebrates his confession at the water baptism and he shall be added into the body of Jesus Christ and now he became a member of the body of the Lord and a family of the living God. But it is important for everyone when to count his life when he leaves this earth, did he keep his first faith in God? At which he started his faith in God. Can we find the same faith at his last breath? You know that then God can not be ashamed to be called his God. This is very, very important. You know, these people have not received the promises. But having seen them, there's the power of God. There is greater power in seeing. So they have seen that promise. Those, the, the, the promises. They have seen the, the, the manifestations of their promise, of God's promises. Did you see the manifestation was not done in their lives while they live on the earth. But that they kept the same faith in God and left this world. Whew. There's so many good things to speak on these warriors, but uh, my subject is not that. Let me talk how the people die today in the church. Uh, some of the people, you know, let us talk about uh, the, the people of Pharaoh or Egypt, the host of Egypt, Pharaoh. They were all dead. Not, uh, not every people, okay, but the host in Exodus 14, 28 speaks, they were dead in the Red Sea. They were dead in the sea. Why? Why they were dead in the sea? You know, the, the, the king agreed with the Moses, God's prophet, and, and, and agreed with God that you can take. He spoke to Moses. He, he, at last, he agreed to his words. And you can take God's people out of my uh, country. He said that. Listen to this. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh, all the host of Pharaoh, these all died in faith. Hebrews 11, 30. Okay, here, all of, uh, all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them, they remained not so much as one of them. None has been escaped from the from the dead from the dead the sea. They were dead in the sea. What what sea symbolically stands for in this world? The, 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 the sea stands for this world, the worldly lust, but the worldly emotions, customs, traditions, cultures.
That was the iniquity or the sin of, in order to tell that they have dead in their sins and trespasses or in their iniquities. That's what the word of God speaks in Ephesians 2, 5. Uh-huh. Let me read uh, this word also and uh, talk to you. Okay? Hallelujah. What the word is speaking here? Ephesians 5, uh, second chapter, 3 to 5. Okay, let me read it for you. Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, the lust of our flesh, they are the lust of the world, lust of this world. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. See there? And were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us. Okay? Even when we were dead in sins, we were dead in our sins. And quicken us together with Christ, okay? By grace, you're saved. Okay, that's, that's another subject. But where these people are dying? These people died in, the, in their sin. These people died in the sea. Because of their own mistakes, because of their own fleshly desires. Even the fleshly desire can be emotion or thinking or imagination or an action or a plan, a plot, adultery, and, and the, you know that. Uh, <laughs> The flesh again, the flesh fights against to the spirit. Spirit again, spirit fights against the flesh. Uh, the things of the flesh, the things of the spirit are different. And the works of the flesh, works of the spirit are different. They don't, they don't coincide with each other. So they were dead in the sea in the sin because they didn't respect God's word. Pharaoh has an emotion like an ego emotion. Pharaoh wants to kill Moses, God's people. In this world, there is no one still at come has come to touch his church or his army. God's church, God's prisons, God's people, God. No one has the power to touch God, God's church, God's people. Even the disease of the demon. Unless God permits us to leave this world and to go into his presence, into the, to spend our life in eternity. So no one has the power to rule over us. These people, they died in the sea, in the sins, there's one kind of people. And secondly, let us go into the book of uh, uh, Ezekiel 37 chapter. And the Lord has brought him into a, a valley and the Lord has shown him at the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the prophet Ezekiel dry bones. 
tribons. There, see there, <laughs> God was asking to this man, can these bones lie? Can these bones live? And I answered, Oh Lord God, thou knowest. I don't know. Again, he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, speak to the bones, speak the word, deliver the word, prophesy over the dry bones. What is a dry bone means? It's a dead body. They will die. They were, they were, they were dead. They, all those died in the valley. In the dry, they, they, their bones were dry. And God, uh, God has, uh, <clears throat> God has been speaking here to give them the word of God, and and tell him that God will raise again with the life of spirit, the life of spirit. See there, so many people. So many people do believe in the word of God, but they don't believe in the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of life. It's an unfortunate. It's a very, very unfortunate, my friends. See there, what the word of God is speaking here, in the 40th word of 37th chapter of Ezekiel, and shall put my spirit in you, my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Hallelujah. See, if there is no spirit of God in our lives, we are not of God. In the book of Romans 8, 11, what uh, the apostle speaks about uh, uh, the same condition here, the spirit of life, okay? It's the Holy Spirit. Let me talk on this, okay? I'll give you a brief explanation. Mm -hmm. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, the spirit means capital spirit, the Holy Spirit, who raised Jesus from the dead, shall also quicken your mortal bodies by, by, his spirit that dwelleth in you. So now you live by the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit. You were dead in Christ Jesus. You die in Christ by faith means they die in faith means they die in the Lord in Christ Jesus. What was this? What was this? Quickens the mortal bodies, the dying bodies. Hallelujah. The dying bodies. Jesus, we praise the worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quickens our mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in us. The Holy Spirit brings the life back to us. You know, it's good to believe in the word of God. And you must also have to believe 
in the spirit of God for their life. Because if anybody accuses over the Son of God can be forgiven. But if anybody accuses over the Spirit of God or the Holy Spirit, there shall never be forgiveness for him on this earth, in this time, and in the times to come, in, in, in the next generations, in this time or in the times to come. So believe in the Holy Spirit. Because the Spirit of God raises the dry bones from the valley, from the man. Well, and see that man shall not live by bread alone, but live by every word that which delivereth out of the mouth of God the Almighty. So it is good to put our faith in the word of God, in, in, in the word of God. It's good to read the word. It's good to memorize the word. It is good to speak the word of life. But it's, it's also a, 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 a need, an emergency for all of us to believe in the spirit of God, in the Holy Spirit. People are dying. Because, because their faith is not working in the Holy Ghost. They don't believe the works of the Holy Spirit. The miraculous, powerful works of the Holy Spirit. They don't, they don't believe in the Spirit of God, in the prophetic word, in the, in the powerful works of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We believe in the triune God. God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. God is the Spirit of God is the Spirit. Hallelujah. God is not a man. God is the Spirit. And he was manifested in the human flesh. Hallelujah. So we have to believe in the word of God and we have to believe in the spirit of God. When, we, when you believe in the spirit of God, you ask the help of the Holy Spirit to give you the breath. Now, when you are in... Uh, uh, in a coma position, when you are in a breathingless position, when you are in critical condition, you believe in the word of life. That's okay. You have to also the help ask 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 the help of the Holy Spirit. You have to ask God the Father to give you the life through His Spirit. Holy Spirit is our God. We have to breathe in His Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us the life. Hallelujah. So they were dead in the valley. They were dead in the wilderness. They were dead in the sin. They were dead in the See, so I, I, I'm talking about the people of the the people that who were dead in the wilderness. Okay, uh, let's go into the book of John, chapter six. Okay, and uh, verses uh, twenty four onwards. Uh, no, 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 no. 47 onwards, okay? In this, uh, uh, in this uh, uh, chapter, we will uh, come to know 
that the people of God ate manna in the wilderness, but they were dead. They were dead in the wilderness. They were dead in their works of sin. Number two, in the wilderness, okay? Number three, ah, oh, oh, yeah, 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 in the valley, sorry, 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 sorry. In the valley, number two, okay. Number three, in the wilderness. They ate manna. They ate manna from the heaven, but they were dead in the wilderness. But Jesus was talking here from the 48th uh, onwards. I am the bread of life. And for I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that he sent me. Okay. And uh, your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and or dead. <laughs> so what they need? Something more. They need something more for surviving, for living. More than manna. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Among them, you're saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? And then Jesus said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. Listen to this. Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. You have no life in you. If you don't eat his bread, his and drink his blood, his bread is his flesh. And his wine is his blood. This is very, very clearly spoken by Jesus Christ. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye, know, ye have no life in you. Ye have no life in you. Listen to this. How many people are reading the Bible, uh, uh, meditating the word of God, speaking the word of God, but not, not, not drinking his blood. That's the problem with them in the wilderness. They didn't drink Jesus' blood. Because Jesus was not crucified. Jesus did not made a covenant with them, but the, Jesus made a new covenant with all of us now. We need something more than his word, than his spirit. Exactly we need the blood of Jesus Christ for us, for our life. This is very important. So many people, why die in the wilderness, in the valleys, in the, in the, in the, in the, in their works of sin.
because they did not eat the flesh of Jesus and they did not drink Jesus' blood. Ye have no life in you except ye very literally I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh and drink the blood, ye have no life in you. There's the reason here. We have to, we have to uh, believe in the word of God and we have to believe in the uh, spirit of God and we have to believe in the blood of Jesus Christ for our lives. We have to eat the bread and we have to drink the water, drink his bread, blood. That's why Apostle Paul agreed in his epistles of uh, uh, 1 Corinthians, let, let us go there uh, and uh, let me let me tell you one more question, one more one more revelation knowledge. 23, 11, 23. But I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. This is unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had, had given thanks and break it, said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took up the cup when he had suffered, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye so oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is delivered unto you. Delivered unto you. The blood was delivered. The flesh was delivered. The bread was delivered. The blood was delivered. And to us, and to us for having life, for drinking and for eating. So when, when Jesus spoke this word, uh, except ye eat my flesh and uh, drink my blood, ye have no life in you. Ye have no life in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, who eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eaten alive, and I will raise him up at the last day. They don't lose their lives. The Lord shall raise them in the last day, last prayer. They shall never die. Whew, my God, hallelujah. Listen to this. The concluding point. John chapter 6, 46. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of God. Huh? Uh, okay, okay. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me talk on this, okay? Uh, please bear with me for a minute, okay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Forty-seven. Okay. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Okay. They all died in faith, believing. Jesus means having faith in Jesus. Those who believes in Jesus shall have the eternal life. But the unfortunate thing.
uh, yeah. What they have to believe, John 6, 41, what they have to believe, they have to believe to eat Jesus flesh. They have to believe in drinking his blood. But he speaks in uh, the same chapter, verse 64. Mm -hmm. But there are some of you that believe not. He spoke to some of them that you are, some of you are thieves. And some of you are not believing my works. I do not. Some of you are not believing my words. So some of you are not keeping your faith in me. So if you don't keep continuously your faith in Christ Jesus, they were dead, die bonds, they, 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 they uh, just like, why? Because of their unfaith, they, didn't, they, they practiced the works of their own flesh and mind. That's why they were dead in their works, in their sea, in their, in their uh, sins. And the dry ones, they were dead in the valley. They, they were a great host that was a big host. And the host was dead in the sea, in the wilderness, in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the valley. And the, and the people of God, the host, were dead in the wilderness because though they started believing Jesus, they did not work on keeping their faith in their lives until they last prayed. It was so hard to move by faith all the time, all the days, but we must have to go with faith. They all died in faith, though they didn't receive the promises. They have seen them afar off. They have confession that they were pilgrims on the earth. They are the foreigners on the earth. And they proclaim for a new country they desired for a new country. They confessed. They declared. They have seen. They have not received the promises. But they were dead in their faith. They have kept the faith of God. What a beautiful word is this. That's why God is not called. God, God is not ashamed to be called. They God. Whoops! Powerful. So, let me ask you a question. How you are dying today? Where have you dead? Believe in the word of God. Believe in the spirit of God. Believe in the blood of Jesus Christ for having eternal life in your flesh and body and soul. Very, very, I say unto you, except ye eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood. You have no life in you. I will raise you up by putting my spirit in you and place you in your nation. The spirit of God which raised from Jesus from his dead also quickens our mortal bodies. Mortal bodies means dying bodies, dry bodies. Dead bodies. Quickens. By the same spirit of God. That dwells in us. 
Raba Barashanda Rada Mamala. Turaba Barandara Rikanda Rada Mamala Ri Baba Rashanda. Believe you need they ate manna in the wilderness, but they were dead. They need something more than manna. That's the blood of Jesus Christ and His flesh. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The blood is sufficient. The Spirit of God is sufficient. The Word of God is sufficient. For our lives, for having life on this earth. Don't die. Though you die, die in faith. And you started your journey with the greatest celebration in Christ Jesus and end your life in faith. Keep the faith in your life. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't encourage you to die today or tomorrow, something like that. Now, even die with Corona or something like that. But my subject here is, today we are dying with the, in our fleshly works, in our unbelief, in so many areas. But we have to rectify our lives to have Continuous life in our lives, in our bodies, in our soul, mind. Have faith. They were all, they all dead, died in faith. They have kept their faith, but we have to keep faith in the word of God, in the spirit of God, and in the Father, in the triune God, and in the blood of Jesus Christ. For securing our lives and for securing our country. For them, God had prepared a greater city. If you don't live a godly life on the earth, a faithful life on the earth, and if you don't eat his bread, if you don't drink his blood. If you don't have his spirit, you have no life in you. Come on, my friends. Receive your life in his word, in his spirit, in his blood. God bless you, my friends. Bye-bye. Take care. Close your eyes. I will pray for you. Hallelujah. Father God, bless these people. And... Uh, Give them the life in your world, in your spirit, in your blood, so that we can have everlasting life on the earth and in the heaven. We give you all the glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is the Sunday message, my friend. Uh, if you would like to honor God by your free willing offering or a donation or your uh, faith seed, uh, it will impact India and helps us to advance the gospel in India and to carry out the word of God across all of the world. Um, I have a praise report today that uh, we have received a $150 uh, out of a $2,000 to help uh, a 10 widows and 10 orphans. And we're still in dragging of uh, funds for raising a $10,000 to lease a double four building in India for the ministry work and for family living here for three years. Uh, so I just ask you all to continue your prayers, support with us and uh, to get partnering with us for the glory of God. There is an opportunity uh, to invest into the kingdom of God, into the kingdom of heaven here for winning souls from free, reaching out um, uh, the communities and for rescuing orphans, for feeding the poor, and for caring the widows. Thank you so very much. If you do, if you do, if you do need many more details or 
on these air uh, these things please do not hesitate to ask us either inbox me in facebook or email me or whatsapp me thank you so very much god bless you my friends bye bye take care love you Hallelujah. Jesus.